Today I'm going to teach you how to log in and out of your Gmail, both on the app and then also in a web browser such as Safari. So first let's go to our Gmail app and when you're watching a video tutorial you can follow along, pause it or watch it and then re-watch it. Um, so up to you. I'm going to go to my Gmail app, so find your Gmail app however you can. If you need to pause the video and then find the app, that's a great idea. Once I'm in my Gmail, our first job is to actually log out of the email. To log out of your email, you can go up to your little face, and then you're going to say, manage accounts on this device. We're actually going to remove this account from this device so that we can practice logging in again. On our school iPads, we have our username and password saved so that we don't have to waste time logging in every time. This is to practice how to log in. So I'm going to remove this from the device and click on remove. Now my job will be to log in from scratch. So on the very bottom of this app, I'm going to click on sign in. I'm going to select Google. And then I have to type in, if it's not listed already, but I want you to practice typing it in. Use another account. And practice typing in your username, the arroba, the at sign, and then as bar. Salona, and don't forget the dot com. Once you do that, you'll say next, and you have to remember your password. Now, you may not have used your password in a while, so you might have to actually go to your notebook that has your passwords in it. In the beginning of the year, Miss Ashley gave everyone a sheet that looks like this. It has your Apple ID, your Gmail password, Mayan, and IXL. So if I look here, my Gmail, my password for ASB should be the same as this. So I'm going to use that to log into my Gmail app. Because I don't want you to see my password because it's private, I'll be doing this so you cannot see. If you need help to look, you can look at the I. Please remember that we do not share a password with anyone, not our best friends, and our teachers have it, and your parents can have it. So I'm gonna say next. And now I'm back logged into my Gmail. Now you've completed task one, which was logging into your Gmail on your iPad. We are going to start with task two. I'm going to teach you that you can log into your email from any device. We are on an iPad, but maybe at home you might be on a laptop or a desktop computer. You could use the browser Chrome that looks like this, or Safari, or even Firefox. Today we're going to practice with Safari. So I'm going to open Safari now. You're going to watch me and then you're going to try it on your own. Remember when you're watching a video, you could pause to follow along or you could watch and then rewind. So here I've opened Safari. I don't have any tabs open already. So I'm going to go to the top search engine and I'm going to type in gmail.com. ASB domain is part of Gmail group. So anytime I go to gmail.com, I could actually log in. Now it has me logged in because I've done it before so I'm just going to sign out quickly so you can see. And again I'm going to do it from scratch. So I went to gmail.com and now I'm going to go to use another account. Again I'm going to type in my username and my password. And say next. Now on your laptop or device, you have to remember your username and password, and that's what you're practicing today. I want you to practice typing in your email and typing in your password. Once you've entered that, then you will see that you are actually in your email on Safari as well. Safari email and your email app look slightly different. It's always a good idea to log out when you're finished. So I'm going to go back to Safari and I'm going to log out. You should always sign out of a account if it's not your personal iPad. If you use one of the school Chromebooks, you must log out. And if you're at a computer at home, you should also log out. So I've already taught you today how to use the Gmail app to log in and out of your email as well as Safari. Please try to log in and out of your email app and in and out of your email on Safari today.